Welcome to your Monday Marketing Motivation. For over 20 years, Pantone's Color of the Year has influenced product development and purchasing decisions in industries such as fashion, home furnishings, product packaging, and of course, graphic design. Hi, I'm Tracy Pachaki, the marketing strategist and owner of Illustrated Designs, and today we're talking about color. In 1963, Pantone revolutionized the printing industry by creating PMS, the Pantone Matching System, allowing colors to be standardized using premix specific formulas. And while they're still used today, mostly in printing, to save money, many printers have switched to a method called CMYK, where they combine cyan, magenta, yellow, and black to create colors. Now they're not as accurate as PMS color matching, but for most businesses, they find that they're close enough to account for the cost savings. Alternatively, digital platforms use RGB, or a blend of red, green, and blue to create colors. Now I grew up watching my dad scour through Pantone books for the perfect color before anything went to press. So I'm always eagerly awaiting the announcement of Pantone's color of the year. And for 2021, according to Lori Pressman, the vice president of the Pantone Color Institute, no one color could get across the meaning of the moment. So they've picked two, illuminating and ultimate gray. According to Pantone, it's a marriage of color conveying a message of strength and hopefulness that is both enduring and uplifting. Now, maybe it's just people like me who are involved in marketing and design that geek out about it every year, but it's a great time for us to discuss the use of color in marketing because we all react to color, which is why choosing colors for your branding and marketing is so interesting. There are people who study color theory, which is both a science and an art. And color theory explains how we perceive colors as humans and in different cultures. It also dives into the visual effect of how colors mix, match, or contrast. For example, there are warm colors like reds, oranges, and yellows. They remind us of sunsets, and they can evoke thoughts of passion, enthusiasm, energy, happiness, and hope. But they can also be associated with fire and danger. Much of the difference in the reaction is associated with the vibrancy or muted tones of the colors. Cool colors like greens, blues, and purples are colors of the night, water, and nature, and they're usually calming and relaxing, often associated with peace. Dark blue is often associated with strength. So when we're creating branding for our clients, the color selection goes much deeper than the business owner's favorite colors or what even looks good together. Color choices should be deliberate with selections based on the products, services, overall messaging and goals, and of course the target audience of the company. And because much research reveals that people make subconscious judgments about a product within 90 seconds of initial viewing, and that between 62 and 90% of those assessments is based on color alone, you can see why so much time and effort is put into choosing the right color or colors to represent a brand. I'll be back next week with more marketing ideas and tips. Until then, I'd love to hear from you. Please comment below with some of your favorite colors and why you love them. Happy holidays!